What is up YouTube? Thank you for watching another video. Um, now, after years and years of managing to avoid these classic games, I finally completed the original God of War trilogy. Um, so, as you know, you might have saw my video a few weeks ago. I did an unboxing of the God of War collection, that one there, and also God of War 3 there. I bought all three of them in one go and I wanted to just plough through the series um, because ultimately I wanted to get on to God of War Ascension. Um, and that is, that is exactly what I've done. I completed God of War 3 yesterday um, and I just wanted to do this video telling you my thoughts on it and kind of which is my favourite one and everything like that. So to kick it off we'll start with God of War 1. Now this was a classic game and I can see why it was kind of regarded as like a land a landmark game on the PS2 and it kind of defined a generation really didn't it because um, it was just that awesome it's, it was doing things um, it was doing things that games at that time couldn't do and hadn't done before um, and that's the thing about God of War it's, it's unlike anything you've played before it's action adventure um, good bit of platforming in there as well. It was, the, I believe, it was the first game, um, well, one of the first games to use uh, quick time events like heavily, use it like as a main feature on their game. So, as you know, most God of War um, boss boss fights and big enemies have a um, quick time event for you to kill them like in a different style than just slashing them up, which is quite cool, and it makes it really entertaining and again makes the game unique. And that's what I really like about it. It's very good. It's very gory. Um, you can literally just like rip the horns off minotaurs and stab them through the mouth and stuff like that. And that's what I want. I play games to kind of escape realism and escape life. And you can't really get anything which is a polar opposite to your everyday life than God of War, really, can you? And that is what ultimately I play games for. I play games to escape and just do things that I'm. I could never dream of doing and that's what I get with God of War and but back to the first one I really enjoyed the story um, it kind of sets the tone of the of the trilogy and tells you um, all about Kratos and what happened to him in his past and everything like that with his with the death of his family um, well his wife and his child that he kills himself um, by accident but then he in like a mission of uh, rage and everything like that he goes on to go and kill Ares who um, kind of forced him into that uh, murder where he killed his family um, and then that kind of sets the whole story of the whole trilogy where Kratos is against the gods and everything like that and that's what I really love I don't need to go into the story too much because I know you've all pl probably played it already but I loved the first one I thought it was great um, it was a bit short I thought but ov overall I thought it was a great game um, I like these sort of linear games where there's literally just one path you've got to follow, you just got to keep following it and sometimes those sort of games tend to be quite short um, but that's not the case with God of War, it's very, very linear but it's not short and that's what I do like about it. Um, then we moved on to the second one and I think I enjoyed the second one a, a slight bit more. I think there's not too much difference in it in regard of settings and kind of level design and enemies and things like that but I think I enjoyed it more just because I think the story was a bit better in the second one and I got I got a bit more like, into it in the second one to so to say um, I felt a bit more comfortable as Kratos because like I said with the first one it was the first time I was playing it so I was still getting to grips with the character um, and then I was really into it when I was playing God of War 2 so I really really enjoyed that a lot more I think than I did with the first one um, so out of those two I think God of War 2 just pips it for me as well I did take longer to complete the second one as well um, and overall like I said with the the whole game was um, set on this kind of big island and I thought that was a good setting for it it felt very like claustrophobic and everything it felt very different to the first one in my opinion and that's what I think I liked a bit more about it um, so that was the original two, and then I played this bad boy, God of War 3. Everyone's told me God of War 3 is PlayStation 3's best game. It's the best game to play if you've got, um, if you want to show off your PS3 and the graphics and everything. And I knew the graphics were supposed to be amazing in it. I know it was a few years old now, um, but that that is just 
you need to disregard that the years have nothing to do with it this still to this day is probably one of the best looking games I've ever played God of War 3 is unlike anything I've seen before the opening sequence on this game I was blown away to pieces I, I couldn't believe what I was playing I was walking along that um, what's her name Gaia the massive titan woman who's like a big forest she's got trees growing out of her arms and everything you're running on this moving um, platform this moving level and I thought that was crazy I thought that is definitely one of the best things I've done in a video game to date and I was blown away by the opening of God of War 3 and that wasn't the highlight of the game the game got better and better as you went as it went on I thought I really enjoyed the unnecessary mindless violence it was it was amazing the amount of gore in the game that all the kind of boss fights and everything like that I think my favorite boss fight out of the whole God of War series is Hades. I really really enjoyed the boss fight with Hades. I thought it was awesome um, and I love the fact that after you kill these kind of iconic gods and everything and the iconic bosses you take a part of their weapon to kind of remember your boss fight by and that's what I thought was great that you kind of kept um, getting new weapons and everything which means new ways to kill enemies which increases the fun funness of the game. Um, so I think I had a much more enjoyable experience on God of War 3. That is pr probably because it's much more modern and these the more modern gaming techniques and everything like that such as the moving level in the beginning where you're walking on the back of the titans and everything like that it just makes it more epic and it makes it more kind of it just blows you away when you play it um but that's nothing to take not to take anything away from the original god of war one and two they're still classics and i think overall it's one of the best trilogies i've ever played and i don't know why it took me so long to play it um, and now I'm fully ready to go and move on to God of War Ascension. I'm going to start that tonight. And as usual with my other games, I'm going to play this and review it like I do with my other games. So I'll do a video review of that one on its own. I'm not going to do a review of um, God of War 1, 2 or 3 because they're older games and you've probably all played them. Whereas God of War Ascension is only a, a little bit over a month old, I think. Um, so I'm going to play that and I'm also looking forward to delving into the online multiplayer on that as well. Um, I'm, and I do know it's a prequel, so I'm not expecting kind of any story arcs for God of War 4 or anything like that. But I think it's only a matter of time before we find out little bits about God of War 4 because I really, really hope we get it now. Obviously at the end of God of War 3 there was that little teaser where there was the blood the blood trail on the floor after the credits. I'm, I'm not even going to warn you of spoilers because if you're watching this video, probably chances are you've played God of War because it's been out for years. Um, but yeah, I am looking forward to seeing where this series goes because I'm now a big fan of it after not playing it for many years. So yeah, roll on God of War Ascension and look out for some gameplay videos of that. So I'm going to do some online gameplay videos and everything. So uh, that's my thoughts on God of War. Fantastic series and I can't wait for more of Kratos action. Um, so thanks for watching this video guys and I'll see you on the next one.